So if you're looking to enjoy classic video games on your modern system, then emulators is the way to do it. But you will find it troublesome to manage all of those individual standalone emulators on your computer. But with a emulator front end, you can have all of your emulators and ROMs in one program. So I'm going to share my personal favorite five front ends to use for the best emulation experience. Kicking things off is a track mode. Now this launcher was designed for arcade cabinets, but it also looks really good running on Windows, Linux, or a Raspberry Pi. A track mode may not be the easiest to set up and get running out of this list, but there are plenty of guides online to help, as well as on-screen help messages that are built into the launcher. But once you do get it set up, you will notice that it's a very beautiful front end that is completely customizable. You can use any controller to navigate the front end. You can use multiple monitors, which is cool, and there's a built-in game information editor that will display all info about that game, as well as give you cover pics and video clips for that game. Something I really like is that when you pause a game, you return to the front end, and then unpause and pick right back up in the game you were just playing. And once you have everything set up, it's very easy to cycle through your favorite games. Next at number 4 is RetroArch. Now this is the most popular front end out of this list and if you have been into emulation for a while there is a 100% chance you have heard of this front end. Now unlike the other front ends this one comes with a ton of emulators built in to the front end renamed as cores. And I mean you have a lot of options when it comes to cores for particular consoles. Now it can be a little confusing to set up as it offers a lot of features. You have the option to change the theme of the front end which this can make the layout of RetroArch easier to navigate and a whole lot prettier than the default. When you upload your games you can download metadata for them that gives you box art and a description to go with each game. You have controller support to navigate the interface, you have a cheats menu, fast forward and rewind on games, there's also net play rooms where you can find game sessions hosted by other gamers and join them. Overall RetroArch is an all in one emulator, a one shot stop some would call it, it's available free everywhere to download on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android and iOS. You can even install this on old consoles you may have laying around. And the best part? It's free. Number three is Emulation Station that works with Windows, Mac OS, and Raspberry Pis. And no matter the specs of your computer, the interface works good. With this front end, you can customize your theme and even customize each individual page within the front end. You can use any controller to navigate the interface, but you will have to map out your controller within the program. You will also have to set up all of your emulators within Emulation Station separate, which can take some time. You can add box art easily to your ROMs as well as information about each game with the built in metadata within Emulation Station. Overall this emulator is not that complicated to set up and looks very pretty and easy to navigate once everything is set up and ready to use. Coming in at number 2 is Play Night. This program is free to use for Windows. It supports plenty of emulators and you can import games from Steam, Epic, Origin, GOG and many more storefronts. Now you will have to import your emulators into Play Night as well as your ROM collection. Before your regular PC games, Play Night can do a scan on your PC, find them and import them for you. It has a easy to navigate user interface that looks clean and even fast no matter how many games you have in your library. You can enter full screen mode and have full controller support as well. Play Night will download metadata for your games and ROMs giving you nice looking covers and descriptions. And if you don't like the default theme, you can also change the complete layout if you would like. And as I mentioned at the beginning, the best part is Play Night is 100% free. And my number one pick is Launchbox slash Big Box. Now, Launchbox is free to use, but if you want Big Box and some additional features, then you will have to pay. For a regular license, it's $30 where you will have to renew your license for $15 every year. Then a forever license for $75 that is free forever with all future updates included. 
So the best bet is the forever license. And I know it sounds expensive, but if you want to use big box, then it will be worth it. Or if you don't need anything fancy, then just stick with the free version and it will get the job done and still organize and make your ROM collection look beautiful with box art for all of your games. The free version will offer different themes that you can find free in the LaunchBox community forums. You have built in game pass support so you don't need to use your mouse and keyboard to navigate the front end. You can also add your Steam collection and other storefront games into the front end. So really LaunchBox can become your one stop location to find your entire game collection on your PC. And last, if you are building an arcade cabinet, then you may want to buy a license because Big Box will work the best on a cabinet. This emulator is available for Windows and there is also an Android version. Thank you guys for watching, hope this video was helpful, and I hope you decide to use one of these emulator front ends for your collection. If you already use one of these, let me know which one in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next one.